What up everybody, this is Mitchell from MYC TV. Today, we are gonna do a little bit something different. Uh, we're gonna go there and check out four different boba milk tea spots in SS15 Subang Jaya. Now before that, if you haven't already, please remember to subscribe to the MYC TV channel and also click on post notifications for more video like this. Now, I'm thirsty. Let's go. Alright, so we've just gotten to the SS15 Boba Street. Okay, so what we have here is the brown sugar thick milk. So, I was told that in order to enjoy this drink, you're supposed to shake it 15 times. 14, 15. Okay, 15 times. The milk's a little bit creamier than usual milk, so... But as for the bubble bubbles, they're pretty soft but they're pretty sweet so i'm actually kind of proud that i asked for less sugar than the normal regular type yeah, so what you're gonna get is creamy soft but sweet um i'm guess i'm guessing that's a good thing for people with really with quite a sweet tooth i would say this is a pretty good drink this is boba shop number one three months ago let's go A few people have mixed emotions about Sinfu Tang, so I'm not really sure. We're here to go and find out. Um, I ordered the brown sugar boba tea, I think. Um, okay, so before this, we had 15 shakes, and today the guy told me that I had to do 18 shakes. So I'm pretty sure that is probably why a whole lot of people drinking boba milk tea have really, really strong arms. You get what I mean? Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, before, I, before I dig into it, 18 times here. That should be 18. Okay, cool. So right off the bat, um, it may not look exactly as cool as the previous place, but taste matters more than looks, right? Okay, so from the first sip, you can instantly tell that this has a way milkier taste. A little bit almond, a bit almondy instead. Actually, it's not like really like fresh milk. It's more like almond kind of milk. The boba bubbles, they are a little bit harder than the previous place. Give me a second sip. Yeah, definitely harder. Um, I would categorize this along the same side as like maybe tea life. We order the. Um, Bang Bang bubble tea, that kind of stuff. If you want a Bang Bang series of drinks, I would say that the bubbles are about the same density, so it's really kind of thick. If everywhere else is packed and you really want boba milk tea, then come here. But if you're going to make it at number one, I would probably not. But you know, some people might like it, some people don't. Next stop. Okay, two down. Two more to go. Run. Right here. Glorious, it's nice. Okay, my cameraman says that he wanted to see some hand action. I don't know how hand, how sexy of a hand action that he wants, so it's gonna be like... Yeah. And then we can make it into a GIF. And then you want hand action after that? After nine shakes. Yeah, the Duroka, the Duroka is like amazing. Sure, so sweet, but for the boba milk tea, the boba, it's not too soft, but it's not as hard and dense as the previous one. Way too young, way too young. Sun, sun. Three boba milk tea shops in an hour. It's a lot. You're gonna have to do 
a double bar after this, which is right across the road. Okay, last one. Power on. Double bar, here we come. The queue is so long. Okay, so what we ordered there is actually cheese on the top. We we're supposed to test the cheese first. It's not extremely strong and it's not like wow there's cheese inside that. But I get a little bit of a like that little crunchy bite. And then she told me after that to stir. The interesting thing about this drink is that it's like super sweet at the start. So it's like putting a whole lot of candy in your mouth. But then give it about uh, about 10 seconds. The flavor just clears off on your palate. So it's not that bad. It's not like intense. Uh, but I'm pretty sad because I probably have to push down my favorite, which is the alley, and push it down. So now fighting in contendership for first place is between the Boba and JLD. But um, I will say that this place requires a whole lot of patience because you wait a pretty long time and the queues are horrendous. Oh my god. Neither can you get a seat in this place. I'll say this, I'll say that today's pretty interesting. Um, sugar rush high. Stomach's full, a bit bloated because of the milk. Uh, we brought back a whole lot of shit for our colleagues and uh, hopefully they like it. But would I recommend you doing four bubble tea shops or boba shops in a day? No. Would I recommend it in two hours? Even no. But uh, it's been an interesting day. So I would say be smart, pick your favorite store. It's not cheap. This thing costs $13.90 per cup. So, I would say do it once, maybe. Check it once, yeah. Check out our website for at www.myc.com.my to find out our power ranking for the best four and our other recommended boba milk tea places to check out in Subang. Uh, just remember to recap that we went to Boba Street. JLD is on its own, okay? JLD is separated from the other three. You're gonna get the alley, Singfutang, and the Boba all in one area within a 50 meter radius. Cool, right? 50 meters is basically like three steps aside. Okay, so that's it for today. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, again, don't forget to smash that subscribe button, click on post notification, check out for us again when we check in for our next food, tech or entertainment review and hopefully this time I'm going to talk to my boss about getting as a hot chick to follow me on next time. Yeah? Until then, this is Mitchell signing off, NYC, it's time for food. <laughs>